Good afternoon, my name is Simon Browning, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate the back-end administrative or editing interface for the Typo3 content management system. On your screen you have the Our Green Directory website, uh, the same as in the front-end demonstration that you can also find on this website. Uh, and in our previous video we logged into the front-end and we were able to make changes on this page just by clicking pencils uh, to the areas we wanted to change. In this case I'm going to log into the back-end because I get a bit of different functionality. I have the same plus more. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to flip over to my login screen here and I'm going to log in as a demo editor here. Oops. And in this case instead of the front end I'm going to select the back end and then I click the login button. When I do that I'm taken to the back end login screen which gives us a little bit of information. Um, in our left menu here we have our main menu of items. Uh, now, there's many items that could appear here, but generally for uh, our client administrators, we, we, we restrict us to just the items that they're going to actually need or use on a regular basis. There are some clients who will have the full list, but in general, uh, we strip it down to just what a client's going to need. So if I click on page here, what I will get is the page tree for the website. So this is the page tree. There's each and every page that exists on the website exists here. So in fact, I'll flip back in a second, but we have our green category search, our standards, membership options, advertising info. And if I go back and look at the website, you can see our green category search, our standards, membership options, advertising info, etc. In the back end, these are the pages and those are the page names that define that menu. Uh, if I click on one of these pages, uh, actually before I do it in page view, I'm going to switch here to view view, the view called view. Uh, now when I do that, what I'm going to get in the area to the right is what the page looks like. So I'm on the home page right now and that's exactly like our home page is over here. And you can see that we have these same editing pencils that we had in the front end. And we can in fact do our editing right here. If I were to click on this for instance, I will get the, uh, here it is, the panel popping up. That allows me to edit that particular text. Same as when I was in the front end, I can bold and italicize, I can add new text, I can remove text, etc. And I have my same save controls. Save, save and close, just close, send it to the trash, etc. So let's close that because I don't want to make a change right now. I, but uh, notice I can actually click on any of these pages here. So the R standards page and that's what it looks like, the advertising info page and that's what it looks like. So it's really sort of a combined view. We're in the back end and we can see the pages here, uh, the page names, uh, but we also have the front end editable here as well. Um, if I switch over to page view, I get a more sort of conceptual view of the page. So let me do that. And you can see it's the page is actually broken up into a main content section, a green spotlight, and a right column content. And if I flip back for a second, this is our main section. That's that green spotlight, and then underneath it is the right column content. Actually, I think it's an area down here this being automatically placed on the page. Uh, now, how, how a site is laid out would depend, of course, on the website. Every website's a little bit different. There's no restriction to how these content areas come together. Uh, it all depends on the website itself. Um, so now, if I needed to change a page name, for instance, all I need to do is click on the page icon next to one of these and edit something called the page properties. When I do that, now we're in the page properties for the advertising info page, and here's its title. Maybe I want to make it advertising information. I'm going to save and close that and things will refresh. Actually my page tree hasn't refreshed but I have a little refresh button I can click here. Now you can see its information and notice on the website the menu has updated as well. Anytime I change the name of a page here the menu on the, ups on the website will update. And if I go back to the actual website and refresh the page here it's the same as well. And that um, applies to any menus. So on the sitemap page, for instance, if there's one, the site doesn't have one, um, anywhere that that menu name shows up, that's going to change. I'm just about out of time on this video, so I'm going to stop and continue this in a second video. Thank you very much.